Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls. We want to be your go-to resource for all things health and nutrition, especially nutritional supplements and skin health questions. If you have questions about our true skin health products or ingredients or formulations, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. That's 844-236-6010. Try to, get in, uh, try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. And actually, we'll get to your calls here in our second segment on the program. We have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Dr. Holly Lucille is going to be talking about the healing power of comfrey, one of my all-time favorite herbs. You know, when, when you study herbs, and I've been studying herbs for a long time as an herbal pharmacist. I, had, uh, I used to uh, tincture herbs, and I had a big old room filled with various bottles of tinctures that I used to dispense in my pharmacy, my compounding pharmacy. When you get into herbs, you always have favorites. All herbalists have favorite herbs, and uh, comfrey is near the top. I won't say it's the top. It's not my all-time favorite herb, it's, but it's really close to the top of the list. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big chamomile guy. That's my favorite herb, but comfrey is really near the top of the list, probably number two or number three. I especially like it because it's so important for skin health. You can use it for bruises, for wounds. It's got anti-aging compounds in there. It's got a really cool ingredient that Comfrey does called Allantoin, Allantoin, A-L-L-A-N-T-O-I-N, which is super, super helpful for moisturizing and softening the skin. We're going to talk to Holly Lucille about all the various uh, various things you can do with Comfrey, Comfrey Root. She's got a cool book called The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. We'll be talking to Dr. Holly Lucille at the bottom of the hour, so we'll take your calls in our next segment, 844 844- 236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the Longevity products, the Longevity business, we can help you. If you want to jo- uh, sign up to join the Longevity team, my Longevity team, call 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business if you're entrepreneurially, entrepreneurially minded, if you like the entrepreneur lifestyle, if you want to make your own hours, work out of the home, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, if you don't want to start a business for one time $25 fee you can be a longevity distributor call 866-735-2470 they can give you the info 866-735-2470 or you can sign up from our websites brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com you can also purchase all the longevity products there brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com and then finally I'd like to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products Truth Transdermal C Serum Truth Transdermal C Balm Truth Omega 6 Healing Cream and Truth Retinol 5% Gel all made with generous amounts of active ingredients in fact all my Truth Skin Health products are 100% active and functional ingredients. There's nothing in my Truth Skin Health products, no ingredient in my Truth Skin Health products that is not going to make a difference on your skin as it should be when you apply a product to your skin. You shouldn't have to deal with preservatives and fragrances and fillers and silicon and oil and, and thickeners and water. You know, 95%, 95 to 99% of your skin uh, skincare product, your topical skincare product, is nothing. It's fluff. It's cotton candy. 
And this is why people who don't care about the skin, don't know anything about the skin, are in the business. And I talk to them all the time. And I get mad. Because if you don't know about the skin and love the skin and love skin chemistry, you shouldn't be in the business. If you're a bookkeeper, you have no business trying to sell a skin a skincare product telling people it's going to make a difference on people's skin. That's why I started my True Skin Health products. That's why I formulated my True Skin Health products. And you can find out all about them at Truth treatments.com truthtreatments.com okay so we've been talking about uh, chronic diseases the flawed medical model which wants us to believe that chronic diseases cannot be cured and at best we have to be medicalized to have our symptoms relieved you know 50 percent of americans have a chronic degenerative disease this is craziness 25 percent of americans have multiple chronic diseases there's even an acronym mcc multiple chronic conditions when you know when there's an acronym for a health challenge it's a big problem and it is a big problem and as we get older the problem becomes worse nearly 70 percent of elderly individuals that is individuals over the age of 65 nearly seven out of ten have two or more chronic health conditions now, if you're, not, if you're healthy and you're not dealing with a chronic health condition, you may not realize how significant a problem it is, but you're in the minority. If you are over the age of 65 and you don't have a chronic health problem, you're in the minority. You're one of the, the 30%. How can 70% of Americans have this kind of health, be dealing with these kinds of health challenges? Nearly 40% of elderly Americans over the age of 65 have four or more chronic conditions. What? This is unbelievable, yet we have more doctors per capita than any other country in the history of the planet. And, we, and now with the uh, Obamacare, or whatever they want to call it now, the Better Care Act, or whatever name they want to give it, they want more medicalization, more diagnostics, more primary care. Doctoring is not going to help us deal with this epic crisis. It is not, not, not. We need to get this through our heads. Your doctor is impotent. He cannot do anything about it. Admittedly, they tell you that. They say cure is impossible. And woe to anyone who dares violate that, uh, that dictum, that cure is impossible. Oh, boy, jail. If you're a doctor, you, you can go to jail for saying that you're going to cure disease. If you're a layperson and you say it, likewise. However, once we understand there's no such thing as disease, really, as such, anyway, there are health challenges, certainly, but there's no real diseases. These are made-up names. They're classifications. They're conceptual. They have nothing to do with getting better. I can't tell you how many letters I get a month, hundreds, maybe thousands of letters, and people list their diagnosis in Latin and all of the different parts of their body that are falling apart because we're led to believe that it's the name that needs to be addressed. That it's the diagnosis that needs to be addressed, not the practicalities of what's happening in the body. The practicalities of what's happening in the body when we're sick, that's easy to deal with. The name isn't because you can't treat a name. You can't treat a diagnosis or you can't cure a name. You can't cure a diagnosis because it's just a word. But if you understand the underlying biochemical breakdown that, is, that runs underneath all, all chronic degenerative disease, then you've got some power. On our, then we have power on our own. The practicalities are really not that difficult. The body breaks down generically. Parkinson's disease is Alzheimer's of the brain, or is arthritis of the brain. Alzheimer's disease is arthritis of the brain. Arthritis is Parkinson's disease of the joints. And I know I say this all the time, but repetition is reinforcement. And there's always new listeners, so I want everybody to understand this idea. Diseases are generic. They have the same underlying breakdown underneath. And once we nail this thing down, once we under, uh, understand this, we will be liberated. Once we understand that essentially the doctor cannot help us, that our conditions, our health challenges are lifestyle based, and the doctor cannot address the problem because it's a lifestyle problem, then we can appreciate the need for looking somewhere else, not in the doctor's office, to get better. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on 
the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com. Ben dot, and also PharmacistBen.com, and we have search engines up at both uh, both websites. You can also purchase Longevity products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off PharmacistBen.com, CriticalHealthNews.com, and BrightsideBen.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. You can purchase Longevity products or start a Longevity business off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can, it's a one-time $25 fee, or you can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, so uh, let's see. I probably, I'm going to continue talking about this idea. I want to talk about heart disease tomorrow, and we're going to talk about its relationship to uh, this whole inf- idea of inflammation. That's really what underlies all disease states, the inflammatory process. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And then give you some real strategies, not statin, not drug strategies, not medical strategies, not the whole same blah, 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 blah you hear from your doctor about heart disease. We'll give you some real practical ideas that you can use to prevent or if you're already if you're already dealing with it, to uh, at least mitigate, soften the blow of cardiovascular disease, which is the leading killer in this country and around the world. That'll be tomorrow on the Bright Side. We've got a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour, Dr. Holly Lucille. We'll be talking about comfrey. She's got a book out called The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey, one of my all-time favorite herbs, comfrey. It's great for, great for the skin, for wounds. It's got anti-aging properties for bruises. We'll be talking to Holly Lucille, Dr. Holly Lucille. On the bottom of the hour, we'll get your calls here in this segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to FLA, Florida. Say good morning to Gary. What's up, Gary? Hello, pharmacist Ben. Can you hear me okay? Loud. Oh, Gary. Gary. What's going on, Gary? How you doing, buddy? I attended one of your speeches and asked you a couple questions. I really appreciate what you're doing. I have two things on my mind. One is a quick story. I went to a medical doctor because my feet were itching, and he says, oh, it's humid. It's hot. You can't do anything about it. Did you okay. try everything in the in the pharmacy in the uh, drugstore, and uh, nothing we can do? Well, I saw a dermatologist look at my skin, see if I get any sunspots, and I said, "What do you think about this?" And she said, "Oh, that's not a fungus, that's not a fleet's foot, that's a bacteria. Put this stuff on it." Gave me some samples, knocked it out. The MD did not know. The specialist knew. And you gotta, you got to watch. You know, my doctor said very clearly, <clears throat> I'm running a practice to take care of Medicare people and low insurance people. I can't spend 15 minutes with you. Nice guy, but there's a problem out there in, in medicine. Next, do you want to comment? I'll tell no, you my go, next go ahead. I got a couple more calls I want to get to. So what, tell me how I can help you, Gary. Would you like to talk about the effect of a person's social culture, what part of the world they live in, and their health. I used to live in one of the healthiest cities in America. It was in the state of Colorado. Okay. Healthy estate going on. And now I moved down to uh, southeastern Florida. I don't think I have to say anything more. Everybody's <laughs> sick, and everybody's talking about being sick. And I think they come here. God bless them. I love them. I think they come down to South Florida to die. And, oh, geez. Uh, that's unfortunate. I, I, hope, I hope that's not the case. That's unfortunate because just because you're retired doesn't mean that you're on the way to dying. You know, the human genetic lifespan is 120 years. So if you retire when you're 70, that means you've got potentially, anyway, 50 years to live. And there's a lot of entrenchment of the medical model in these uh, places where older folks tend to congregate, Arizona specifically in Florida. I know when I go to Florida, it seems like there's a drugstore in every corner, and we don't have that same problem. Uh, we don't have that here. we got health food stores in every corner in Colorado. We don't have... Uh, we don't have that same entrenchment or that same belief in the in the uh, primacy or in the uh, the uh, infallibility of the medical model, and unfortunately, that's just the way it is. You know, the, when they talk about all the money that's spent on healthcare costs, a lot of that comes out of a, a, a few areas, few geographical areas, like you say, Florida, Arizona, to a certain extent, the eastern seaboard states. It's not quite the same in California or in Colorado or in Montana. We don't have the that same kind of de- we don't deify the medical model the same way. Uh, and 
and, and I, don't know if you've, I don't know if you've listened to this program before, but we don't deify the medical model on this program. We deify the human body. We say that the human body is God's handiwork and that we can, there's a, a healing power that's built into every single cell, let alone the body. Every single cell has healing and repair mechanisms built into it. Do you know that, Gary? Every cell has healing built into it, has repair chemistry built into it, repair enzymes built into the cell. Sickness is not supposed to happen. And the fact that we think that we need to go to a doctor and have our symptoms mitigated and somehow have our, our, diagnostic and our, our diagnostics and our test scores reduced and that's how we measure health is absurd on the face of it. And the fact that we have this epidemic of chronic degenerative diseases that we've been talking about, it is proof positive that the medical model is a utter and complete failure when it comes to dealing with long-term chronic diseases, which ultimately are lifestyle-based. Gary, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Let's move on to Loretta in Florida. Good morning, Loretta. How you doing? Didn't mean to attack your beautiful state, which I love Florida, by the way. Oh, good morning. Thank you for saying that. Yes, it is God's waiting room, but I'm going to tell you <laughs> what. The old people thrive here, okay? I okay. mean, they look like ghosts driving their cars. And they're still driving. God bless them. So I somewhat disagree with the former caller. Um, in a nutshell, I have osteoarthritis. It has permeated my body. Uh, oh, my gosh. My hips, I must be my old. knees, my shoulders. I lived on a sailboat for 10 years, so I blame my nice. husband completely. You, you um, literally lived on the sailboat like day to day? We lived on an 80-foot sailboat, and we... Went all around the world. We worked it. Oh, nice. We lived on it. We raised children on it. But I do often wonder if the dampness and all the rest of it did it. No, don't go there. Very don't poor. go there. Loretta, don't go there because then you lose your power. Osteoarthritis is yeah, an inflammatory. I lost my power because nothing works. I've well, we're going to help you. We're going to help okay. you. We're going to help you. It's not what you're, you know, what you take is important. This is kind of a myth that's out there about how we handle our bodies. And I hear it all the time. Oh, uh, what do I take? Or I'm taking all the longevity products or I'm supplementing or I'm eating good. It's not necessarily what you're doing. It could be what, or, or it's not necessarily what you're doing that's right. It could be what you're doing that's wrong that's causing the problem. And when it comes to osteoarthritis, like all health challenges, you're dealing with inflammation. The inflammation ends up causing a, de a degeneration of the joints, but that's secondary. The degeneration is secondary to inflammation. Inflammation is attack. Always go back to food. And we're going to talk about this tomorrow when it comes to the heart. Always go back to food and also the digestive system in general. That means the intestines specifically. So uh, first and foremost, you want to stop eating for a couple of days. Then you want to do a, a food diet. And then you want, when you start eating again, you want to do a food diary, write down everything you eat, and then how your body responds. And you're going to notice certain foods make the pain worse. And those are foods you're going to need to eliminate. You'll also notice, notice certain foods uh, cause some digestive symptomology, constipation, diarrhea, heartburn, anything that's a digestive kind of uh, uh, issue and then you're going to need to eliminate those foods. That's called a food diary slash elimination diet. You probably heard me talk about it. Then there's wonderful nutritional supplements that you can use, but you have to use them in conjunction with the food diary and the elimination diet. If you have toxicity getting into the blood and you use your your supplements, you're not going to get the results. And this is where people don't get results from their, from their supplementation program. Loretta, I'm going to finish up when we come back from our break, so don't go away. We also have a guest coming up at the bottom of the hour. Dr. Holly Lucille will be talking to us about Comfrey. Her book is The Healing Power of... Tyler! T Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and also... BenFuchsArchives.com. We got a guest coming up here momentarily. I just want to finish up here with Loretta in Florida. Loretta, uh, osteoarthritis, my dear, first and foremost, look at it as a food issue. That is a digestive issue, food slash digestion. That is, you got to work on uh, eliminating problem foods, do a food diary uh, slash elimination diet. Use the Swero V Cleanse if you don't want to fast first, but fasting is probably a good idea before you start your food diary and elimination diet. Then there's the supplements that you can take, but you got to take them in conjunction with your food diary elimination diet. 
If you're just taking supplements and you have leaky gut, which almost everybody does, or you have any kind of digestive health issue, you're not going to get the power and the benefit out of the supplements. So I, I, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of good supplements to take, but the fact that you told me you've done a bunch of stuff and you ha still haven't gotten results tells me there's still toxicity getting into, your, into the blood through the intestine, and you've got to work on that first. That having been said, there's wonderful supplements that you can use for uh, dealing with arthritis. Probably the most important is glucosamine. Uh, along with vitamin C, you always want to do glucosamine with vitamin C. They work hand in hand. You'll get vitamin C in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. This is for anybody out there dealing with osteoarthritis or really any degenerative disease. Um, so glucogel caps, glucosamine, along with uh, vitamin C from your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I would be using a little extra gelatin. You can get Knox brand gelatin. Gelatin is basically joint tissue, collagen, that is. You can also get collagen powder, but it's a little bit more expensive. Again, use vitamin C with your collagen, with your gelatin, and with your glucosamine or glucogel caps. Bone soup made with cartilage, made with the chicken bones mm -hmm. and the cartilage containing substances, the chicken feet and such. Uh, that's always going to be beneficial for any connective tissue problems like osteoarthritis. And then also, specifically for the joints, vitamin E, 400 international units a day, which I always recommend for folks who are dealing with any inflammatory problem, but also for athletes or weightlifters who are, are sore after a workout, along with osteoarthritis. Then you want to make sure you're using your ultimate EFAs, nine of them a day, essential fats or anti-inflammatory. Uh, and then also uh, vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, and vitamin B3, which you'll get in the ultimate niacin, can have some specific health benefits for folks dealing with arthritis. Your healthy start pack with all 90 essential nutrients is also important, although I can name specific nutrients like magnesium and calcium and zinc and selenium that can be helpful. Just get on the whole mighty 90 essential nutrients. And then last but not least, use your Fucoid Z, nine capsules a day. Again, I know I said it before, I'll say it again, in conjunction with your food diary slash elimination diet. Hope that helps, Loretta. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. And it's time for our guest. Dr. Holly Lucille is, a, is an ND, she's a doctor, a naturopathic physician, as well as an RN, which is awesome. Love RNs. You know, we love our RNs on this program. Uh, she is part of the American, uh, she's a, a member of the American Association of Naturopathic Physicians. Board, she's on the board of directors, actually. She was on Time Magazine's alt list as one of the top 100 most influential people. That's kind of cool. And she's got a cool book out called The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. I absolutely love comfrey. I've been in the skincare business now for 30 years, 30 plus years. And I can't think of one formulation that I've, uh, well, I can't think of one topical moisturizing or healing formulation that I've ever done that didn't have Alentuan in it or some other, or comfrey itself. So I'm very excited to talk to uh, Dr. Lucille about her book, The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. Please welcome Dr. Lucille to the bright side. Hello, Doc. Hey there. Good morning. Or hello. Good to talk Hi. to you. So Thank how you. did you, you know, I, before, you, before you were on at the beginning of the program, I, I was telling the folks that when, whenever people deal with herbs a lot, there's always favorites. You always have like a favorite child, a favorite herb. Now, my, I was telling people, uh, comfrey's near the top of my list. Uh, my favorite herb is chamomile. I take it that your favorite is comfrey, I'm guessing, or at least one of your favorites. Tell us what it's you one, like it's, about it's, it's definitely in the top three. I will tell you oh, that. Okay, good. What are the other two, just for just for um, Well, I, I happen to have an affinity as far as plants are concerned. Concerns, not herbs so much, but for curcumin and okay. as well, uh, rhodiola. Oh, rhodiola. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, tell us about comfrey. Why you love it, and uh, what people can, how people can use it. I mean, I think for the most part, <clears throat> for me, from a topical perspective, I if you look at strains and sprains and bruises and other tra uh, traumas, this is just certainly one of the most effective um, applications. You know, I kind of made up a new rice. You know, the, the old rest, uh, ice, compression, compression, and elevation. Right. Well, I made it rest, ice, comfrey. Comfrey. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay. I like that. <laughs> and then that. elevation. Because I'm a 51-year-old CrossFit athlete. I've been an athlete all my life. I love to go out, uh, outdoors. You know, I ride motorcycles. I sort of kind of in this daredevil sort of doctor category. And I beat myself up all the time. And this has really been... One of the only things that I can use um, on a daily basis safely that provides relief for the, you know, just for any, absolutely anything as far as first aid is concerned. 
Now, when you say topical application, is this the kind of thing that people can use topically themselves, or do they have to go out and buy a cream or you know, a product? Or is there an at-home way that you can leverage the, power of, of, the healing power of comfrey? Well, sure. You know, you know if you grow it, um, one, of, one of the things that used to be done back in traditional uses of comfrey, I mean, it used to be called um, bone set or mm. uh, bone knit because it was so, from a topical perspective, making a poultice out of the leaves itself – uh, and putting it on a bone, so powerful in its healing, in its healing properties that it could, it, it could really start to knit bones together. And so, but there is, there is a very convenient way to get it. There's a product called Trauma Comfrey, which I absolutely love because one of the reasons I love is some of the other applications that I've used throughout my years, um, a little bit greasy, have that smell to it, you know, like, oh, that, that sort of old Ben Gay smell. Uh-huh. <laughs> this odorless. And it doesn't have that. When, it, when you apply it, it's just really, really smooth and nice, and you can put your shirt on and don't even think about it. Now, what exactly, when you say trauma comfrey, is that a type of product? Is it a, a formulation or, or a dosage form? Yeah, well, no, that's actually, it is a product. It's, it's, a, it's a product called trauma comfrey, and it's a very specific comfrey that's grown without, um, there's, in, in comfrey, one of the things that there were these pyrolyzed dizine alkaloids, um, and those were known to be the toxic, okay? They, um, they have high toxic. pharmacological activities. Yeah. So this is, so we, we, we abbreviate that as PAs. And this particular trauma comfrey is grown PA free. Um, and so, uh, because these, the, those alkaloids have been shown to be toxic, they're damaging to the liver, they're, they have a really high pharmacological activity. And so, um, this is a PA free. This is, um, it's known as sort of prickly comfrey. And uh, it, it, it's PA free, and so you don't have to worry about that. What is the P in PA? What kind of alkaloid? The P is pyrolizidine. P-Y-R-R-O-L-I-Z-I-D-I-D-I-D. Oh, pyro- uh, pyrolizidine. Okay, pyrolizidine alkaloids. It's yeah, okay, pyrolizidine got it. alkaloids. Got, got it. It's, a, it's an organic chemical kind of uh, an exactly. alkaloid. That's found. I got yeah. you. Remember my organic chemistry? It's a nitrogen ring of some kind. Vaguely remembering. Um, anyway, so uh, your the trauma comfrey is PA free. PA has uh, toxicity. You were saying is that topical toxicity or is it just oral? Uh, no, it's it, it, so oral and topical. So if you put comfrey straight on your on your bone, on your uh, sprained ankle or bruise or whatever, you could you could get some uh, systemic toxicity. Are you saying? Yeah. Well, part of it, part of it, yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, the way that you you handle the herbs and if the PAs are in there, I mean they're just very you know you can get uh, you can get absorption that way, and it's, okay. it's got a very high pharmacological activity. So it's just definitely something you want to avoid. <laughs> Uh, we got to take a commercial break. I want to talk to you about that whole idea of absorption when we come back, and then we'll talk some more about trauma comfrey. We've got a guest, Dr. Holly Lucille. Her book is The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Dr. Holly Lucille about her book, The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. Dr. Lucille, before we, uh, before we went to uh, break, you were talking about uh, some of the toxicity associated with uh, comfrey. And I, I was kind of curious about, are you talking about topically applying the stuff? You can get some systemic toxicity, with, not with your product, obviously, but with the, uh, with the ordinary comfrey leaf? Yeah, that's why. I mean, that's exactly why the, they, uh, we created this, this safer comfrey that was the the PA free, um, got it. It's, yeah, that's. I no. mean, because this is only used topically. It's uh, it is grown with with the PA frees and uh, is grown PA free, and that's really important because safety is really important. And and throughout history, this has really been a problem. Um, and so it's grown without you know the harmful PAs, also any any heavy metals, aflatoxins, anything like that. So you can use it. You can use it liberally, and you can use it safely. Organic? Uh, it is. I believe it is organic, um, and but it's, and it's not genetically modified either. And I think that's what the people have asked me about that. You know, knowing that it's PA free, it's not genetically modified. So and, that's great as well. And you could put this right on a bone knit. It's called obviously, so you can put it right on broken bones. Well, yeah. I mean, um, you know, the 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 
the word at compri in Latin, it actually means to grow together. <laughs> and so, oh, how interesting. Okay. Yeah. It that is, makes yeah. sense. I mean, Greek physicians relied on this herb. I mean, wounds, inflammation, gout, ulcers, gangrene, burns, sprains, fractures, you name it. Um, and it's just really one of those things that I, I have everywhere. I do. I have it in my purse. I have it in my carry-on. Mm. As far as, you know, traveling, I have it in my gym bag. Um, it, it's just something that I rely on quite a bit. I was actually talking to somebody the other day, and because of the way that it does knit together, uh, this woman was actually using it for the wrinkles around her mouth. And she says, now, I didn't, and I didn't see a before and after picture, but she says <laughs> she's actually starting to see some benefit from using well, the Well, it makes coffee. sense. It's all connected tissue. Bit. And it's great because it's odorless. It goes on really nicely. It actually feels good. Um, and so I thought that was very interesting. An, an interesting new application for comfrey that I wouldn't have thought of. Well, it makes sense because it's, it's all collagen, right, and connective tissue, whether yeah, it's bone exactly. or whether I mean, right? I thought, well, why not? <laughs> I wonder what the you science... Know? What is the science behind stimulating the production of connective tissue and the active ingredients in comfrey? Well, so when you're looking, um, you know, the secret, I think, behind comfrey's effectiveness, there's a couple different things. Um, the first, I think, um, and potentially most important is the allantoin. I think you talked about that, right? Mm -hmm. I love allantoin. Yeah. Love that yeah. stuff. Um, this, I mean, what give allantoin the, uh, the ability to promote the healing uh, uh, the healing of wounds, burns, and scars, it's, it is that extracellular matrix that provides structural support to cells. Um, and it's found in both the umbilical uh, cord and breast milk. Uh, this, the, it's the ECM, the, the extracellular matrix is? Yeah, no, the, the allantoin. Allantoin's in breast milk? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, I did not know that. Yes. Um, and it's a, it's a naturally soothing anti-irritant compound that promotes cell replication and increases the water content of the mm. extracellular matrix. And this is what provides that structural support to cells. So that, I think, is one of the most important uh, active ingredients in comfrey that makes it so effective. Have you ever heard of Alantoin? I've never heard of Alantoin supplements or Alantoin capsules or anything, oral nope. Alantoin. Have you? Mm -mm. Interesting. No, but it, it, it's been, um, and you know, one of the things... Um, it's been reported to promote the growth of bone and cartilage and then also has been proven to beneficial to skin health. And for you, you should, you, I don't know, maybe we should should do a clinical trial on the, the trauma comfrey and skin health because of the allantoin. I would um, be up for that. Now, is that trauma plant? Is that the product you're calling trauma plant? Yeah, it's trauma plant, the trauma comfrey, trauma plant, correct. Okay, so now a couple things come to mind here. First of all, can you use can, uh, extracts? Allantoin is notoriously difficult to get into solution. I don't know if you know that, but from a, as a formulator, I've been working with Allantoin for 30 years, and you can't really get very much into solution. Is there, when you tincture comfrey, I'm assuming you don't, Allantoin doesn't come out in the tincture. It doesn't come out in the alcohol. Is that correct, or does it? Uh, ask the question again. What do you? Uh, this I, is I've always had a difficult time getting Alantoin into solution. It's like the holy grail for me to make an Alantoin solution. I always have to put it in an emulsion, and I can only get small amounts in at that. And I've always well, wanted these, to do. A, well, the Alantoin is actually a phytochemical that's found in the comfrey itself. But how do you? What I was going to ask you is when they tincture Alantoin. Well, you can buy Alantoin as an, I buy, I've been buying it as an active ingredient for many years. But sure. when you tincture Alantoin. Uh, you tincture comfrey, I'm sorry. Does the Alantoin come out in the alcohol when you're making a tincture? Uh, yeah, the, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, because it would seem to me, the way you're describing Alantoin, that it would be super important or helpful, at least, for oral ingestion of Alantoin, in addition to topical, correct? Sure, absolutely. Well, you can definitely, there's, there's oral applications for sure of comfrey, especially if they're PA-free and with Allantoin. And then the other key pharmacological activity, um, active constituent is the rosemar rose oh, rosemarinic acid. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's That's rosemarinic really acid in comfrey. It, absolutely. It's a polyphenol. Um, it boosts anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. Um, it's, it's antioxidant activity is actually stronger than that of vitamin E. And so its power to neutralize those free radicals are, are really important. Um, it's, it's actually used now as an active ingredient as an antioxidant to replace more toxic antioxidants. I don't know if you know that. Rosemarinic acid is. And you can buy yeah. it cause, uh, as a formulator. I can buy it, you know, in bulk, just straight rosemarinic acid. Although I always thought it came from rosemary. I suppose it's in a lot of different, a lot of different plants. Yeah, it's a phytochemical that I think it, 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 you can find it uh, in a lot of different places, in a right. comfrey. And then also you've got choline, that water choline too? essential nutrient that that I think is really important as far as the efficacy of comfrey and in being able to uh, 
boost blood flow and speed the healing of injured blood vessels and nerve endings. Well, all of this implies to me that you, we should be drinking comfrey tea and doing as much as we can do to ingest comfrey, in addition to, of course, if you have arthritis or a bruise or, or a broken bone, uh, applying it topically. So let's get to some practical stuff here. Somebody's got a, a sprained ankle or a broken ankle or broken leg. How would they work with comfrey or work with trauma? Tra as, uh, what's it called now? Trauma? Trauma plant. Trauma plant? Or, yeah, how would they work with it? How would they obtain it? Give, give us some practical how-tos. Yeah, you can actually get it. You can. It's called trauma, comfrey or trauma plant. So you can order it. You can, it's everywhere. It's available pretty much online everywhere. And then, I m m m my recommendation is to see, use it liberally. When you at first, certainly at first injury, and then you know four at least four times a day. Use it liberally, and within a day, um, within a day, you know what uh, people have shown uh, wonderful results. One of the the latest cases that I had is a woman that had a little bit, believe it or not, of um, ovarian cancer that had migrated to her hip, just one sort of rogue cell, and so radiation. And the only thing that really gave that hip, um, both from the radiation uh, and also she had surgery, from the trauma of surgery, any relief orally and or topically was the, the trauma plant. Interesting. And you can just get it off the Internet if you search trauma plant? It's manufactured by Terry Naturally. Very nice. And how is it uh, not too expensive, I take it? I don't believe so, no. And you can get it on you know, the discount websites, just do some price comparison. But by all means, I, I, I feel like get it because um, it's why, I mean, I, I definitely love this herb. I wrote a book about it. Um, yeah. It's just how do people get your extremely book? powerful. How do people get your book, by the way? I think you can find it in most health food stores. That's pretty much where distribution is. Okay, The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. And you have a website, I take it? It's just drhollylucille.com. Okay, good. And what do you do aside from promoting comfrey? Uh, I have a clinical practice here in Los Angeles, California. As a naturopath? As a naturopathic doctor. Oh, that's awesome. And you see patients. So I have a lot of folks listen to the program in, um, in, L in yeah, Southern California. Yeah, I see patients three days a week out here. And I mean, it's, it's basically the love of my life, uh, seeing patients. I mean, I do a lot of other things, being a consultant in the natural product industry, et cetera, but, um, and I'm the daughter of two pharmacists. I don't know if you know Oh, that. you are? Oh, that's awesome. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. <laughs> a L.A. pharmacist? Pharmacist no, in L.A.? No, we were, we were in the Midwest. But, oh, that is so cool, but you went the other way. You went away from drugs. Yeah, that's I, cool. I did. I kind of did. But, um, what, kind of, what kind of RN were you? So I started out in ICU and I ended up in mental health. It was, it was great. Uh, it was a sort of community treatment, which is a pilot program where we, um, you know, how people would get 5150, you know, when they weren't well out in the community, hospitalized, stabilized, and then left for, for no resources just to do it all over again. So we'd get them right there and then really start working on all aspects of their lives. And it was probably, it was just one of the best jobs of, you know, just being able to understand social, psychological, um, physiological, emotional, financial parts of people's lives to start building ground under underneath their Love their feet when it came to their mental wellness. So well, fun. you're doing awesome work, Dr. Lucille. Thank you so much. I appreciate well, it. Thanks for coming too. on. Thank you so much. So yeah. Thanks for uh, coming on. Conference. All right. I don't don't live without it. Don't <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Lucille. Appreciate it. The book is The Healing Power of Trauma Comfrey. That's Dr. Holly. As she goes by, Dr. Holly Lucille. And you can, she's got, also got other books, too. Uh, and you can check out her website, drhollylucille.com. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking heart disease and give you some real, real practical strategies that you can use to prevent or mitigate the blow, soften the blow if you're dealing with chronic degenerative uh, congestive uh, or chronic degenerative heart disease. All right, that's it for now. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular, awesome day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.